So in this video we're going to look at an interesting property is the von Margot function. Now the von Margot function is denoted by capital letter lambda to this value n. Now n is an integer. So it's a piecewise function, it takes the value of either log of p or zero. So first of all it takes the log of p if n can be made up of p to the power of k. So p is a prime number and k is one or more. So any other occasions it takes the value of zero. Now if you check the link in the description below I've got a video where we go through a few examples of the von Margot function but for now we're interested in one of the properties so it's a log property. So log of n equals the sum of all the divisors of n the von Margot function for them so the von Margot of d. So d is the divisors n is the number we're taking the log of and this is hopefully going to give us our answer. So let's try let's try one. Let's try log 64. So now we need the divisors of 64. So the von Margot function for 1. Well 1 is 1 to the power of 1. So 1 is not a prime number, so it takes the value of 0. The next divisor of 64 is going to be 2. So 2. 2 is a prime number, 2 to the power of 1, so therefore we give it the value log of 2, as in this case here. Okay, now we need 4, that's the next divisor. Von Margot function for 4. Well, 4 is 2 squared, so 2 to the power of 2. So with p being 2, it's log of p. Okay. 64, divisors at 64 follow a nice little pattern, so this is going to be quite easy to find. 8, well if 4 is 2 squared, 8 is going to be 2 cubed. So therefore, 2 cubed, 2 to the power of 3, log of 2 in this case. Okay, next one is going to be 16. So 16 is 2 to the power of 4 or 4 to the power of 2. Now 4 to the power of 2 is no good because it's not a prime number but we can also say that 16 is 2 to the power of 4. So I'm just going to write these out on here. So 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to 3, 2 to the 4 or 4 to the 2. So there we go, 2 to the 4, p is 2, log 2. Let's try the next one, it's going to be 32. So 32 is going to be 2 to the power of 5. So again, log of 2. K is 5 in this occasion. Then the last but not least, 64. So 64 is 8 squared, 4 cubed or 2 to the power of 6. So 8 is no good for us because that's not a prime number, neither is the 4, so therefore we use 2. p is 2, k is 6, log of p, log of 2. Okay, let's use this formula now. So sum of all the divisors of n's von Margot functions. So it equals, let's add all these up, 0 plus log of 2. And how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. Log of 2 to the power of 6. OK, so we can say that that, it's got two different log properties, this one, for, for our solution. 2 to the power of 6 we know is 64. So it's log 64. So therefore, this theory is correct. But we do, of course, also say it's 6 log 2. In which case, log of 64 is also 6 log 2. Okay.